God willing, we are done with the heat wave. <laughs> Although we're in the 70s and 80s, it sure is a lot more uh, doable. So I'm not quite ready to start doing stuff for winter, maybe in another month, but there are a lot of uh, tasks that need to be accomplished in the fall to kind of transition to winter. And uh, there's a sort of stuff I just haven't done because it's been too darn hot. So let's take a peek. So that's one project I'm working on. I picked up this Christmas cactus at uh, a local nursery. It was in a dusty corner and I watered it and gave it some uh, fertilizer and it perked up quite a bit. But I want to be giving out some of these in cute little containers from, Do from Dollar Tree for uh, Christmas. So I'm getting it strengthened up and it's going to be here in the living room till it starts uh, leafing out and looking a little healthier. I'm sure I saved it from a near death. I've gotten some really good deals on uh, gardening equipment, both at uh, Walmart and at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put most of that away until uh, next year when I'm acti actively involved in gardening again. Some really great, really awesome deals. Those uh, little trowels here, whatever they're called, were a um, dollar each. And the set of three gloves was $2. So couldn't resist that, but I don't need them right now. Maybe putting them away and happy to see them in the spring. My porch is a complete disaster, starting with this enormous teddy bear. In uh, my rattlesnake video, I talked about the fact that I have a big tiger in one of the trees. My grandchildren get such a kick out of it. And I also have a big teddy bear a friend gave me to further my collection of huge stuffed animals in, uh, in the trees. But he can't be on this porch forever. I like to sit out here in the winter when it rains, this, that, and the other. Plus... The other day, sheriff came to the door, a couple of sheriffs. Sheriffs come to the door on a regular basis up here, I've noticed. And uh, they were looking for somebody and were not looking for me, thank goodness. But I don't know what they thought when they came up here and saw this huge teddy bear. So I need to make my front look a little bit more respectable. <laughs> you never know who's going to come to the door. I have some of this gardening stuff, which also needs to go uh, downstairs. It's coming along. These plants are kind of indoor plants. They've been doing okay on the porch. They need to be transplanted. Some of the stuff just needs to be taken taken off the porch. This needs to be, uh, I want to take some cuttings off of this one. I, when I took it from a friend of mine, it was a big old mess, and now it's doing well. So I want to take some cuttings and start a couple more plants off of that while the weather's still warm. I want to fill these two uh, six-gallon totes with water. Even though my water supply is in better shape now than it was, I still worry about it a little bit. So I'll have to get the hose out and just fill them up and have a little extra water here for the garden, etc. I have these two huge uh, prickly cactus paddles here. And I'm going to be putting them up on another part of the property where it's pretty dry and they get sun. I've been waiting for them to callus over the part that was uh, separated from the mother plant. And I'll be placing them in the grow bag I have ready for them up at the top of the garden. A ton of sprouted potatoes. This is what happens when you leave potatoes out in the summer here. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to be putting those also up in the area where the uh, cactus is going to go. Just let them overwinter. I have a cute little greenhouse that I got from Amazon. It has uh, shelves in it and it's walk-in. So that is going to go right there in that little space i moved something out of there and i will be able to put plants i need to keep a closer eye on in that space and also seedlings in the spring everything else is behind the house on the bottom but some things need just a little more monitoring most of my plants here in the front overwintered pretty well last year but some are seasonal this one a friend gave me to bring back to life so i'm going to be slowly moving these and others around some will go to sheltered areas, others will stay here just under the overhang of the porch where they've been for the last couple years. My cactuses do great year round, so they will probably be staying where they are. I do want to take some uh, pieces off and start new ones and put them in the little greenhouse. We're going to be finishing the permit process here and getting this all finished up and then my tank will be complete and ready for the winter and the rest of my life here. This stuff will need to be put away that's on the side of the house. Some boards, a door, some leftover uh, countertop from um, the little 
remodel I did across the street and a glass door I want to put in my bedroom so I can look outside when I'm laying in bed. As we walk down the side of the house, I have a great deal of messy spaces. I moved stuff around and then it got really hot and I didn't do anything. So I have, uh, have two little greenhouses here underneath the um, deck and a lot of stuff is just going to stay here. Plants are going to stay here. I have a lot of cactuses and succulents here and I think they'll be okay. I'm still trying to find the perfect scenario to keep these things from uh, freezing, especially the succulents, which don't do real well when there is a hard freeze. We have about five or six a year during the winter. I need to clean up all of this stuff, just leftover construction materials. Suddenly the days are getting shorter and projects, if they're not done by now, they're not going to be done this year. So here's the garden that you saw in an aerial view earlier. Some stuff, again, will do fine over the winter. Other, others won't, so I have to differentiate. I want to put a few more of those big uh, plastic totes out so I can continue to compost and get ready for next year. This area, with all the pots and everything, is kind of catastrophic, and it's not going to fare real, real well in the winter if I don't get it straightened up. So I'll be doing that in the next few days with the uh, better weather. With the heat of the summer, I lost track of how much fun it is to sit outside here. I can't sit out too early in the morning and I can't sit out too late at night because we do have animals and predators running around. I don't want to uh, get myself involved with, but there's plenty of hours during the day when it's not so hot to just sit here. I'm probably going to be pulling all the tables and chairs in late October, mid to late October, depending on the weather, but I do need to uh, enjoy this a little bit more than I have been. So those are the tasks ahead. Not too taxing as they say, but I do need to get them done. There are a lot of bay trees out here. Uh, bay trees love the water. There's a lot of groundwater here where I live. So right now with the warmth, um, it is releasing the wonderful smell of bay into uh, the air. So it's just an absolute pleasure. I may work a little while and then make myself a cup of tea and just enjoy this, this spot a bit. I tend to focus on all the work and not all the fun. <laughs> anyway, hope your fall is going good and all the things you mean to get done are getting done uh, and you are not overly burdened by chores. Thank you so much for watching.